Hello my crafty friends. Welcome back to another episode of Art Journaling with Tia and Raffi. Tia and I have already started. Raffi will join us shortly. So we start by adding some music paper down on our pages. Originally we were going to do it over both pages but then realized because of the shape of the journal we're using it's going to be a little bit too wide and there may be just too much empty space. So even though we've put the music paper on both sides we're only going to use the one side of the page for today's project. We've just used a glue stick to stick the music paper down and once it's dry, which doesn't take really long, we're going to add some gesso. I'm using a piece of cardboard that I've given to each of the girls and I have one for myself. We'll just dip it in gesso and then just scrape it over the music paper. And as you can see, it makes it sort of splotchy and not smooth, which is the effect I wanted because I want some areas to be white from the gesso, but others I want to be able to see the paper shining through. For today's technique, we've decided to go with paint pressing. We just fold our page in half, which will mark the center of our project, and it'll be the area where we fold over to press the paint. And now we're going to have some fun with the paint. We're going to use some pastel colors and whatever colors are in the paint box. And I add mine slowly with a little bit of water and then press and sort of smoosh it over with my hand after each application. Mine, as you can see, is sort of the shape of a butterfly, which is what I was actually aiming for because I'm going to do a butterfly design. Um, but if it doesn't come out, it doesn't really matter because we do want the paint color to spill over the actual picture that we're going to draw or paint. So it doesn't have to be the shape that you're actually aiming for. And just a bit of a tip when doing this kind of technique, the more wet the paint is, the better it spreads. So um, I found my girls sort of painting a little bit too much with a brush and then it, it was drying and wasn't pressing well. So just spray with a little bit of water or add a bit more paint and do do the pressing while everything is quite wet because then it gives you a very good um, spread and good smooshing. So now I'm going to draw my picture, which is the butterfly, and I'm doing it first on a piece of paper just so that um, if I make a mistake, um, I can erase it because you can't really erase it once it's on the paint. And then I'm just using an opposite or the tracing method to get the wings onto my page. And I am just doing the one side because as I paint, I'm going to press. So it's got the same effect. As you can see, I'm adding the black acrylic paint and pressing as I go and I don't want a smooth black outline I want it to be sort of pressed as well and you'll see the effect actually works out really nicely I'm very happy with the way that turned out. Um, I will show you a close up uh, near the end of the video where you can see how the black has spread and really has the effect I wanted. Tia's doing a butterfly too. Rafi has decided to do a heart shape and she's going to do a little bit more designing in hers because she wanted to make it look more like stained glass and that worked out really well too. We're now going to add some designs in the wings of the butterfly using the same technique. Thank <laughs> you. 
although we all start with the same similar idea I do let the girls sort of take the art journaling where they want to take it and as you can see Rafi on the left she's done the heart shape and hers is quite different to what we're doing and I quite like that she's sort of taken it and made it her own and decided um, how she wanted to experiment with the colors and with the stained glass effect and then Tia on the right, you can see her butterfly frame is a lot darker than mine and she wanted it more bold and she didn't really do a lot. She did the pressing but it didn't really come out but she went over it with the black acrylic paint and hers came out really bold and she was really happy with that. I'm just going to add a little bit of black splatter which I like um, the contrast that it adds and then I made a bit of a whoopsie and when I put the paper to cover it it actually smudged the first lot of splashing I did so I wiped it off with a baby wipe and I'll do it again. Now we're just going to add a little bit of wording um, or, a, or a quote. Everybody sort of just goes and finds um, out of my die cut box they can just find the words that they want and we're going to stick them down with a glue stick. Tia is doing some white splatter on hers using some white acrylic paint. Rafi is sticking her words down and I'm still trying to find a word. Rafi has finished hers, she's signing it and there she's showing you a close up of her beautiful work. Tia is done too, signing hers and showing a close up of her beautiful work too. And I'm still busy, still trying with my black splatter and for a second time I've smudged it again. So maybe third time lucky I will manage to do the black splatter without smudging it with the paper I'm covering the rest of the work with. There we go, it's finally done. I'm showing you a close up so you can see how the paint has smudged during the pressing which is the effect I wanted and I think that came out quite nice. I'm quite happy with that. This was a quick one that we did. I think it took us just over an hour, so it wasn't a long one. Thank you so much for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.